Hi, nice to meet you. My name is Nicholas Pettis. Hello, I'm Kono. Yoshinori Kono has been carrying out independent research on the teachings of master swordsmen and the ancient records that still exist. His efforts to discern the secrets behind the techniques have led him to a new realm of Kobudo. Kono is a strong believer in self-discipline. That is to say, he is both strong and a believer. Constant training has allowed him to acquire superhuman agility. But this master is still searching for ways to maximize the potential of human ability. The classical martial arts are different from Kendo and Judo and other modern forms. The driving force behind my research is the desire to recreate the world of the ancient masters. It's a long and winding road. Kono has concluded that the movements of the samurai who risked their lives on the battlefield were completely different from those of modern Budo. He's restored the motions to show the distinctions. It's a trip back in time when mastery meant the difference between life and death. The major difference between modern martial arts and classical martial arts is that the ancient masters did not brace their legs or kick. What? No twisting, no building up of energy, and no bracing. Those are the conclusions that Kono has drawn after investigating the approach of the masters of long ago. In modern Budo, and sports for that matter, Twisting, building up, and bracing are often considered essential to an explosive release of force. Kono says the samurai had a different approach. Let's say you're attacked like this. You'd obviously try to evade the attack, but if your feet were firmly planted on the ground, your lower body would be slashed. In boxing, it doesn't matter. You're not going to be hit in the hips. But to evade a strike from above, you need to be agile. Otherwise, you'll end up being slashed in the hips. First of all, you should deflect the blow with a dagger or something like this. If you try to evade the blow, you'll end up being followed. So instead, you should try to close in on the attacker, inviting him to strike your head. Don't evade. What you should do is to move in toward him and then move to the side. These actions are executed almost simultaneously. Konos' movements in an instant are attainable without bracing, building up, or twisting. Attainable, but that level is not easily achieved. What would the ancient masters do if Nicholas were to deliver a downward strike with full force? The moment Nicholas starts to attack, Kono moves in a flash to avoid the sword and slashes Nicholas's wrist. He does this within the time Nicholas takes to deliver the strike. Nicholas is fast, but Kono is faster. Okay, I think we've had enough for today. I think he made his point. Even with the real bamboo sword, I was not fast enough. Ah. <laughs> yes, you wouldn't have a chance of launching a full-scale attack. Before the strike, I'd have moved to the side and slashed your wrist. Well, as we clarified before, the best, the best defense is an offense. Kono believes the samurai of years past used a special technique to hold the sword. Assume a proper stance, like this. Yes. Now I'm going to try to swipe your sword. I want you to avoid getting hit. Move your sword out of the way. I'll start from here. 
はいいいですかそうはいはいですか逃げられてはいそれを Now I'm going to bring my hands closer together はい Nowadays, everyone holds the sword with their hands apart. But according to my research, people used to hold the sword like this, with the hands together. He's certainly right about modern swordsmanship. The current approach to Iaido and Kendo leaves plenty of space between the hands. Kono's research, however, suggests hands together creates a different relationship with the sword, one that involves the entire body. That altered relationship affects the handling of the weapon and the results. This exercise shows the difference between using the entire body or just the arms. Uh -huh. My feet are relaxed. It's like a flash. Oh, the sword comes right at you, like this. <laughs> I don't know if you guys noticed it, but <laughs> I mean, I can't stop laughing because <laughs> I can't get out of the speed compared to what he did before. When he was standing and just saying, well, we're just going to try the first one, and then he explained what he's going to do in the second time he did it, then he used the whole body and it became about twice as fast. And if you saw in the beginning, I was able to, you know, get out of there. But now he hits it every time. And I felt kind of confident before. <laughs> it's easier to move the sword with your hands apart. Huh. If it's easy to move the sword, you end up using your arms. With hands together, it's harder. But since you can't move the sword just with your arms, you end up...